everyone. My name is Ryan. Welcome to my channel. And all, for all you new subscribers, welcome to the OMG Nation. I'm up here at Moonshine Harley Davidson today and standing behind a road glide, but this is a little bit different. A 2017, and you might be asking yourself, Ryan, what's important about a 2017 road glide? Well, this particular road glide right here is a moonshine horsepower build. This bike right here, it gets 146 foot pounds of torque, 158 horsepower, and 130 cubic inches. All wrapped up in a 2017 road glide. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a cold start for you guys so you can hear it start up. And then I'm gonna take it on a little demo ride. So let's get to it. So let me tell you guys this, 158 horsepower, this will be the most powerful motorcycle I've ever been on in my life. I can already tell that just barely twisting the throttle, this thing wants to get going. So kind of what I'll try to do is I'll try to tell you what gear I'm in. All right guys, so when we take off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off and tell you when I'm switching gears. Right now I'm in first gear and this thing's got some pep in first. Switch it in the second. <laughs> Switch it in the second. It wants to take off like a rocket. I just felt it. <laughs> now going in the third. Jeez. And the tires are pretty cold on this thing. So before I get, you know, shifting through these gears quick, I want to make sure the tires warm up with just a hair. Because this thing can get a little squirrely on me. I don't want that to happen. I don't know if this does anything or not. I just see him doing it in a NASCAR, so I'm gonna do it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to let these cars get in front of me here. Just downshift back in a second. This bike right here has a little bit under 15,000 miles on it, and it is for sale at Moonshine Harley Davidson. But I just wanna show you guys, a lot of you guys, you know, have commented out there, oh, I couldn't do one of those builds. Well, this bike is built for you. It's a 2017. The guy that owned it before it, he took good care of this bike. He's one of those guys that he's a motorcycle enthusiast and he takes care of all his bikes. Let's get over these railroad tracks. Well, let's stop right here. What are we doing, brothers? Oh, man. This is terrible traffic right here. All right, so we're still in first gear. But this is good, though, because I'm just kind of warming it up. What we'll do is we'll pick up when I get on a straightaway and I don't have all this traffic in front of me. All right, guys, so I'm down in first gear right now. Climbing a little hill going into second. Oh, <laughs> Man, every time I shift and roll on the throttle, this bike wants to take off like a rocket. I'm only in third gear right now. And this little area right here is going to kind of be a, a second and third gear kind of twisty area. Here we go. Let's go to fourth. Jeez. That... <laughs> I'm glad this uh, 
custom seat is on here with the high back on it <laughs> because if it wasn't i'd have been back there in that person's driveway sitting down oh my gosh guys I feel it. All right, let me slow down. So I'm back in second gear right now. Look at that. My RPM gauge right up here. So I've heard that I could probably run it up to 7,000 RPMs if I wanted to. I don't think I'm going to do that right now. But I could. All right, let's see where we're at right going up this hill. Oh, I felt the front tire come off the ground. <laughs> this is like we're trying to wheelie on me in third gear. <laughs> Man, this thing's got some power. Oh, look at there. Cement truck. Good thing I didn't take off like a rocket. Come through here. Cement truck on the wrong side of the road. Facing the wrong way. <laughs> Man, this thing. Let's see what we got engine braking wise. Oh, this thing. I mean, this, this will like. I tell you what, the engine braking on this thing is like brakes. It's like I'm hitting the brakes. I start letting the engine brake right there. It's really like I'm hitting the brakes. Oh, uh, that was ice that I just went over. In case anybody was wondering. Yeah, it's definitely like that I'm just hitting the brakes. All right, second gear, climbing a hill, no problem. Jeez, I can't even get into fourth gear right now. This thing will get you there in a hurry. All right, let's go back down to the third. Actually, you know what? Let's go back up in the fourth, see where we're at right here. As soon as I get on this little straightaway, let's just kind of take off a little bit from fourth and see how we feel. So we're about 2,500 RPMs. Jeez. <laughs> this thing's got some power. It's crazy. I think I'm going to have to get on the interstate just real quick, go from one exit to the other, just so I can have a little bit more room to go because it gets there in a hurry. So I, I see an area where I'm like, oh, I can give it some gas, but I'm all the way to the end of it, about to go into the curve. And or like I just said, I have never been on a bike like this, so I'm going to take it a little easy, but at the same time, I'm going to play with it too. I tell you what, let me pull right up here. I want to go straight up this little hill right here because this is kind of one of those... There we go. Oh man, there's a lot of activity up here. Look at there. I mean, easy as pie getting up this hill. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, so quick first impression. First time ever being on a bike that has uh, 146 foot pounds of torque and also 158 horsepower this thing will flat move and first gear wants to take off like a rocket and second gear wants to take off like a rocket you do third gear and that stuck that sucker wants to stand straight up in third gear i mean yeah. going up that hill a little bit when i kind of goosed it i told you guys the front wheel came off the ground so let me try to get rolling the interstate and go from uh the on ramp on the interstate and just kind of see how fast i can get going and uh, see what it does, see how safe I feel merging in the traffic with that kind of power. To me, uh, one of the things that I feel like is, a, is unspoken on a lot of these builds is, you know, everybody wants to go fast and, and, and everyone always talks about that. But to me, the horsepower kind of makes you feel safe. It really makes you feel like that you can get out of situations that might not be good situations. Um, you know, when you're out on a bike, if, if someone's kind of coming over on you you can take off you don't have to worry about hitting your brakes because you can take off and be out of that situation before they even completely cross the lane so that's just the thought but let's get back on the road and get back to this ride man this thing sounds like a monster when it starts up even going back to the engine braking let's go into second gear i mean this thing is it's literally like putting on the brakes i know i just said that but the engine braking on this thing is absolutely incredible all right let's put the shield down safety first <laughs> oh 
<laughs> I gotta be so careful letting the clutch out of this thing because the front wheel just came off the ground again. <laughs> and I wasn't even trying. That's the crazy part about this. <laughs> this thing has so much power. And I'm not even doing anything except riding right now. I wouldn't even try to get into it. And the front wheel popped off the ground. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. This is truly, truly awesome. So coming from a guy that I'm an owner of a 2006 Fat Boy, 88 cubic inches, not a lot of horsepower. I completely right now understand why guys go, they buy brand new bikes or they take their bike and they have bigger engines put inside of these bikes because man, this makes me feel like I'm a little kid again too. <laughs> oh, potholes. All right, let's get away from these guys. Oh, more potholes. I was going to try to get on it right there, but this is a little terrible. Okay, here we go. We're about to get into the good section. All right, here we go. So we're in third right now. That's fifth gear right there, guys, and it still wants to take off. I mean, that was easy, easy, easy. Let's go back down the fourth. I rolled on the throttle in fifth gear and that thing took off like it had so much more to give. Oh my goodness. I mean, I was literally 40 miles an hour in second gear and this, no big deal for this bike. I didn't feel like I needed to shift or anything. All right, let's get over. Watch that guy right there. All right, normally I would go right back here to the dealership, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here and just go exit to exit. I'm not gonna go crazy. I'm just gonna see, you know, when you're merging on the interstate, you want some power and you gotta be able to say, okay, am I gonna get in front of that car? Am I gonna get behind that car? What's the deal? Um, let's see. All right. So we're in third right now. Make sure that's not Franklin's finest behind me. I can't tell. Well, we'll find out in a minute. All right, I'm up to speed. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> and I really, truly, like I said, I didn't try to go crazy and get on it. Go ahead and get over. <laughs> go ahead and get over. <laughs> <laughs> I could blow past you if I wanted to, but I don't. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that was crazy, guys. Look at that. I mean, it just wants to go. Oh my gosh, man. <laughs> Whew. This sound from this bike. It sounds absolutely amazing. I mean, I don't know if that's coming through the helmet right now. I, you know, I lifted my visor so you guys could possibly hear that. Look at this, listen to that. That's second gear, that's third. Man, that feels like icicles going up my nose. Man. <laughs> it's it's a, it's blowing me away in th those higher gears fourth and fifth that's great but it's blowing me away in first and second gear it really is city driving <laughs> is blowing me away right now i can't imagine what it would be like being on a long trip on this bike it can get you there in a hurry if you're basically if your trip's gonna say 10 hours you can do it in eight brother <laughs> oh man so i just kind of gave it a little gas going into that little bitty curve right there man it just felt like it just dug in on me yeah, right there coming out of that just felt like it dug in i mean <laughs> all right let me park. So guys, if you don't think I was moving, hold on. Check out my pant leg. 
So when I started the ride, this boot looked like that boot right there. <laughs> the wind blew my pant leg all the way up. <laughs> I feel like a little bitty kid in a candy store right now because that was so much fun. This is my first time, actually this is my first time on a, uh, a, a true moonshine horsepower build and whew, I'm blown away. I, 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 I completely get it now. I completely understand. Not that I didn't understand before, but I truly understand now why someone would want to put this much power in a road glide, in a street glide, in any Harley Davidson motorcycle because it absolutely feels phenomenal. Uh, I, I probably giggled the whole time <laughs> like a little bitty girl, but hey, it, it, I mean, that's what it brought out in me. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but this bike will absolutely fly. Let me go back over this again. Again, guys, this is the first time I've been on a, a bike with this much power. So basically what we're looking at is uh, 146 foot-pounds of torque. 158 horsepower? 158 horsepower? All in a 130 cubic inch motor. A 2017 Road Glide. This bike is for sale up here at Moonshine Harley-Davidson. Reach out to my man, Rob. I'll put his information up uh, on the screen right here right about there and uh, I will also put a link down in the description for this bike so you guys can go and 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 click on it again guys if you don't want to get a brand new bike but you want the power this is the bike for you I'm telling you man I am blown away by this motorcycle absolutely blown away Hey guys, I appreciate you watching today's episode. If you have not already, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing to the channel and I will see you guys on the next episode. Thanks for watching everyone. Oh, this is recording, by the way. I didn't, I didn't think it wasn't recording. Okay. <laughs> Just check it.